A pest which can attack rice, corn, and soybeans is again being found here in Louisiana. Entomologists with the LSU Ag Center discovered the grape colaspis in at least four fields in southwestern Louisiana. This week in Louisiana, agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us why farmers need to learn about this bug right now. Earl Garber and LSU Ag Center entomologist Dr. Natalie Hummel are digging around to find out what's eating Doc Zonbrecher's rice plants. Well, I thought I started seeing the the, the uh, bare spots. I thought it was just uh, the the grass dying at first that we had sprayed it, and then when uh, I got to look and I seen it was actually the rice that was that was dying. And this is what's killing it. This is the larva of the grape colaspis, a bug that's been causing problems in Arkansas for a number of years and was first found in Louisiana about 25 years ago. Because we had gone to a lot of water planting culture, it was not a problem here. But now that we've returned back to drill seeding, uh, it looks like this insect is becoming a factor uh, in, in this field here especially that we located this year. Dr. Hummel says in the four fields where she's found the colaspis, it's damaged 10 to 70 percent of the standing rice. But you'll see typical symptoms of just drying back of the plants. You know, now that we look back, we've probably been seeing this damage the last year or two uh, since we've had a lot of our rice go back to drilling due to the clear field rice program allowing us to dry plant. Actually, we were we had heard about the grape colaspis. It's a problem in Arkansas. And we had kind of a feeling that maybe we were facing it, but we didn't know how to recognize it. But now that we've uh, learned how to recognize this insect, uh, we realize it has been here the last two or three years, taking some of our stand count away. Now, this isn't a problem that all rice producers need to worry about. Only ones who plant rice behind their soybeans and go no-till. This time of year, a grower might see these misses in his field where he has these breaks in the stand like you can see here in the background and these drying plants surrounded by um, healthy plants. Hummel says the Calaspis cannot live in water, so flooding fields as soon as you see damage can help control the bug. That may have to do for now until the LSU Ag Center can do more research and devise a plan to fight this pest. As for Zonbrecher, he's only planted about 400 acres of rice this year and hopes this pest doesn't bug his yields anymore. In Crowley, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Dr. Hummel held a meeting with farmers at the Crowley Rice Research Station this week to show them how to find the grape colaspis. To learn more about this pest, you can click on over to our website, twilatv.org, and we'll link you to the LSU Ag Center site.